Hello everybody, welcome back to Creighton Art. Today we're gonna make over these little wooden things I found at the Dollar Tree. And they're these little wooden uh, pieces, and these are stars. I also found some flowers, butterflies, keys, an owl, a bumblebee, and a seashell. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. You're gonna need some jewelry pliers. I have little regular pliers, wire cutters, some other little needle nose pliers, and some little round pliers. You're also going to need, I have some little jump rings, and I also have some of these lever bag earring wires. So I'll show you those. You can use any kind of ear wires, but I like the lever bags. I also got some gold ones. And I picked these up at Hobby Lobby, and they were $2.99 half off. So for $1.50, I can make eight pairs of earrings with one package. I also have my drill with a little tiny drill bit. I have an extra piece of wood to drill holes into. And then I have a crate full of different fingernail polishes. So whatever colors you like, go ahead and grab some fingernail polishes. Get some that are opaque. The you could use transparent, but I like the look of the opaque ones. So let me get situated so we can get started. I've got a foam core board here, so I'm gonna work on this. So when I'm all finished, I can just easily carry these earrings back inside. I'm working outside because fingernail polish can get pretty smelly. So first thing you want to do is you want to figure out which earrings you want to make. And you want to figure out if you need to put a hole into these before you start painting or not. Most of these, like these, I don't really need to put a hole in because I can just put my little ring right around a piece of this. So just go right around any whichever direction you want to hang your earring from. Okay. So that one's fine. This one is my shell, and I think it'd be so cute to hang this way as earrings. So I need to drill, or I don't need to drill in this one because I can use this little point right here, and I can put my ring right into this section. The next one would be this butterfly. And this one's kind of awkward because there really is no place to put an extra hole. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put two rings here and hook them together by another ring or I'm just going to add them right to the jewelry wire. We'll get to that when we once we get these all painted. And the bumblebee here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a ring kind of to the side. So as an earring it's going to hang this way, not this way. And I don't want it to hang upside down. So I'm going to think I'm just going to hang it from the side. And then these are a really cute flower, and I think I'm going to paint these black. I wear a lot of black, and I think these would be so fun as black ones. So on these, again, there's a hole in here, so I don't need to put a hole in through these with my drill. And lastly, well, I have this owl here, and this one I do need to drill a hole through because there's really no good spot to put it through. So I'm just going to draw a little tiny hole right here above his head, kind of between his eyes there. And then also I have this key. And there is no good spot that I like for the ring to go. So I'm going to draw a little hole through the tops of these two. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes in these two sets real quick. So I just pulled out these stars here, and I'm gonna do these. But for a dollar, you can make three pairs of earrings. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so we're gonna do these, and these are super cute. Okay, so on this one, I'm gonna do this one black, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So what you wanna do is, you want to use very little fingernail polish, and you're gonna maybe do two coats of this. And you're just going to just dab it on. So you're just staying right on top of the surface. See that? So I'm not letting it go down in the sides. I'm just dabbing it right onto the tops.
So you want to let that dry completely. And what I like to do is take turns so you don't dry out your fingernail polish too much. So go ahead and switch, and we're going to switch to a different one. Now you can do both sides of this black, or you could do one side white, which would be really fun. So you could do black and white, or you could mix the colors. That's what we're going to do next. We're going to go ahead and do this one right here. And I'm going to make this a patriotic one, and I'm going to do it red, white, and blue. And I picked these up from the Dollar Tree. So I picked all these colors up from the Dollar Tree, and they're so fun. So I'm going to do this one, red, white, and blue. And I think I'm going to do the, I'm going to do reverse. So I'm going to do red, then white, and then blue on the outside. So you're going to let these dry and then you're going to put another coat on these and add in, I'm going to add in the white. So now I'm going to work on this bumblebee. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to put a second coat after that dries.
So now that I've got all of my earrings painted, I'm going to add the jewelry wires to them. So these are the ear wires I'm going to use, and I'm going to use these little lever backs, and I have some different size rings over here. And what you need to do is figure out how big you need for your O-ring to fit. So I'm going to use the large ones on the seashell one here. And when you put this on, you're going to need to add another ring to it. You may have to add another ring. On my lever backs, the way it is situated will hang crooked. So I need to add one more ring, a little ring, whoops, a little ring to the big ring. So mine will hang like this. Now you could add a bead here if you'd like, but I like just like the gold. So I'm gonna go through and finish up all of my earrings. Well, here's the earrings we made. I think they look like an enamel, like a faux enamel earring, and how easy using fingernail polish. So here's some seashells, some bumblebees, some stars, and some flowers. Need some more black flowers and some keys. How about some owls and some butterflies? And I added in some green owls. Now, isn't that cute? So how easy is this? So if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share. Thanks, bye everybody.